it is so seamless to me to work on these major initiatives as a trustee because I am dealing with them in life every day as a citizen and as a professional. I feel like I'm getting something out of out of that time and, and that is being part of moving the school and the university forward. Everything is here. You just have to find it and seek it out. As much as you're steeped in tradition, <coughs> you do continue to evolve as a place. These recipients of the Alumni Medal represent that sense of university citizens. Part of my Columbia story is that I was working at Columbia at the time. Rachel K. Hitchcock, School of Professional Studies. I was earlier in my career and was looking for a way to advance my career, and I was also looking for a way to get a graduate degree. The School of Professional Studies is very much the appropriate name for what the school is now. When I was there, it was the School of Continuing Education. I loved my experience at the School of Professional Studies. I absolutely loved it. I mean, I instantly felt as though at work I was able to bring a much more strategic lens to everything I was doing. That Simon Sinek was here as a professor teaching the integrated class when I was here. And, and I took the class, you know, he wrote the book, Start With Why. If I can just come back to that one central question, why? That helps provide clarity. And I learned that at Columbia. CAA Board of Overseers, uh, Columbia Alumni Club of Portland, Columbia DC Board, Baltimore Alumni, and now I'm very honored to be the first president for the Alumni Association of the School of Professional Studies. It gives me permission to like think outside the box. And I'm looking forward to helping other alumni of SPS feel a strong connection with SPS, but also too to think about their place within the broader Columbia alumni community. The Columbia Commitment Campaign is, actually, is really impressive, and I can say that even as somebody who also works in fundraising as a professional. Now more than ever, does it really matter what school you graduated from? No. Do we all care about climate change? Yeah. <laughs> you know, So I'm not surprised that Columbia is once again leading the way in this perspective. Part of the reason why it's also overwhelming is because I'm the first person from the School of Professional Studies to be awarded with an alumni medal and seeing nine other people who were the other alumni medalists. It's just amazing to me that, I, that I've met these people because of Columbia. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have met them otherwise. From the moment I stepped foot on campus in 1977, this place embraced me and I embraced it. Jolene Caruso Fitzgerald, Barnard College. I am the least artistic person on the planet. But there was a program in the arts that had art history, English writing, film, theater, music. I loved it. Every Friday I worked on Wall Street during my four years and my summers. So I was busy. Wall Street prevailed. And in March of my freshman year, I met my husband. And we went to a basketball game and my husband handed me a program. And I looked at my girlfriend and I said, who is that? And she said, oh, it's one of the football players. And I said, introduce me to him. So it's been 41 years, and it's just a beautiful story. From the moment I left this campus, I knew I would never leave. So what I did was dug in. Being a trustee and being involved on transgender admissions, divest from fossil fuels, all the issues today makes me smarter as a US citizen, <laughs> makes me better as a business person. The Diana, the funds that we raise for this building, I believe truly transformed the campus. And the next phase of the capital campaign was the Milstein Center behind me. In 2018, I was the recipient of the Frederick A.P. Barnard Award. One of the special things they did was create a song after Dolly Parton's Jolene. Your drives made you a great trustee. You helped get us all that we need, and we're so proud to stay. I was laughing, it was fantastic, and it was very, very special. You'd think I would know how to do this. I've had this robe for 18 years. This is my 19th commencement. My two children decided to attend Columbia College, which is fantastic. My affiliation here really is the university as a whole. 
Barnard is Columbia University. Now I feel the college and the university are truly one, and the prospects for Barnard have never been greater. Columbia has always been a part of, of my story. Anna B. Rodriguez School of Engineering and Applied Science. I was born in Cuba. I came to New York, to this country, when I was two years old. What drew me to Columbia in particular was I was looking for an engineering school that was not just an engineering school. The core education enhanced the technical engineering courses that we were participating in. I met my husband here. I was here during the time when the college went co-ed. Carmen Hall was college and engineering. There were three floors that were co-ed and the rest of them were all male. So we had a, a terrific group of friends. Um, we are still very close to this day. I was on full financial aid and many of my friends were first generation American and it is one of the things that has driven me to volunteer in any way that I can and give back. I have been on the Board of Visitors for the Engineering School. I just finished my term as a CAA uh, board member. I was on the um, task force to put together the uh, First Columbia Women's Conference. She opened the door. I started getting involved not, from the, not only from the student perspective on how do we increase the number of women in engineering, but also in how to increase the number of women in faculty positions. The last couple years I've been working on a startup with two fellow C's alum. You never know, uh, professionally um, as well as personally, where those connections are, are going to take you. To the C's class of 2019, seize the world! It was an amazing experience to be up on the stage and look over the sea of blue, my time that I spend here. It's a labor of love. You're just proud to be part of that community. Tracy Maitland from Columbia College. A lot of people think that you need to go away to school. Uh, my father was a consummate New Yorker. He was a surgeon. Uh, he, he operated on Martin Luther King when he was stabbed up on 125th Street. And so he really loved New York and he encouraged me to really think about Columbia. My mother, Carolyn Maitland, uh, got a master's uh, from Teachers College here and also did a PhD. When you think about it, everything is right here. Being able to go downtown and meet alumni in disciplines I might have been interested in uh, was really critically important in developing what I wanted to do once I left Columbia. So I ended up going to Wall Street. Columbia being New York really was helpful in, to facilitate that. And the core curriculum is, is critically important in encouraging people to do things that they ordinarily wouldn't do. Having those productive discussions and debates about with different people from all over the world certainly helped me understand who I was and who I wanted to become. I was the advertising manager for the yearbook. I remember speaking to one guy whose name was Horace Hopkins, class of 1920, having a great conversation with him about going to Columbia and why he came to Columbia. And President Rose Royce at the time was a Columbia graduate and got him to take out a big ad in the yearbook that year. Very powerful location of Columbia in New York City. First, I was on the Columbia College Board of Visitors and served on that for two terms. I was involved with the Black Alumni Council to come back up to speak to them. And coming back up to the school and speaking to the students, I think, is really important because you, you're able to provide insight and guidance, uh, which helps carry on the Columbia traditions. I started a scholarship, uh, on the Leo C. Maitland Scholarship Fund. My father, he's the one that really helped me understand and appreciate New York City, going to Columbia. When you give people that are underprivileged a, an opportunity to attend a university like this, you widen the pool of available people that can try to help solve and better the world. Mr. President, they embody the aspirations that you have expressed for the future and they will not disappoint. Being recognized for my involvement in the school was really nice and I think it's a great thing that the school does. It uh, certainly encourages uh, people to be involved. It's a win for the school, it's a win for the student, it's a win for the world.